the talk that I'm going to give you is very close to my heart because it's at the heart of my philosophy and my work. And uh, it's called Cybertecture. And today's talk is focused on what we call weaving a new fabric of mankind. Because I really believe that all of us as designers and builders and inventors, we are together weaving to a, a, a massive fabric that will guide the actual consistency and the social networks of the future. So I would like to start off by showing you how I visualize the world today. I think the world is totally different from the 19th century, the 20th century, and now in the 21st century. We're in a world that is not only connected, but bound together by the forces of data, by the forces of nature, and certainly by the relationships that we have as a humanity. And only by seeing that this is an ongoing fabric that is wrapping around the world do we really appreciate the potentials behind everything that we do in design? In fact, whether you're a spec here as an aircraft, or a building, or a space, or a piece of interaction, you are part of this fabric. And it binds together into one world. And this one world is tremendously powerful when everything is synergized and we are able to communicate and share in a way that is taking everything to the next level. And weaving that fabric should be motivated by those key issues that we're facing as challenges as a humanity. We are at the stage of great urbanization. And how we used to build our cities have now become confrontational to the issues of sustainability and the environment but also the actual fabric of what we build, the architecture that we build, is actually quite outdated. The concrete, the steel, and the glass is not necessarily matching very well with the electronics, the data, and the binary thinking that is going into other levels of technology. The human values that we often forget as we grow economically must be addressed. So many people on this planet still have no food to eat, no clothes to wear. And even those who are relatively wealthy do not have enough space to live in because it's too expensive now. So at the age of technology and at the dawn of artificial intelligence, how do we bind the, all of these things together and weave a truly magnificent fabric of mankind? I personally have been doing my career because I feel that I'm one small part of this, and my passion for technology and design should help in that weaving. So the first concept I wanted to show you about this new weave is called space-time compression. I believe the new dawn of humanity is about space and time. We are actually creating a new level of time machine as a civilization, and this is very apparent in our work at the moment on the Hyperloop. Uh, this video is taken inside the test track of our Hyperloop in Germany. Currently, we have established the possibility of exceeding over 1,000 kilometers an hour of, uh, of the pod moving through a magnetically levitated vacuum space. Now, why I call this space-time compression and not just a train is that for the first time, we realize that there's a possibility of being able to travel great distances, even faster than aircraft, but at ground level. And if we are able to make these projects possible, we'll be able to link communities, cities, countries, regions, and even continents in a way that compresses time and space. The ability for us to live in Hong Kong, but have a gathering in Shanghai for lunch and then go to Tokyo in the evening for dinner, and then come back to our families, is entirely possible. At over 1,000 kilometers an hour, this is actually faster than any commercial aircraft in the world, and actually much less polluting. Of course, we're in the very early days. Now, the Hyperloop, I'm not going to talk about the design of that. That I cannot talk about at the moment because of some of our commitments to our partners. 
But what we are planning to do is not only look at it as a design technology, but certainly as a network. There are plans of ours in the long term to create a global network of hyperloops, able to actually fuse together the spaces that used to be separated by time and distance in a way that is affordable and available to every person on this planet. And by doing that, we might actually solve a lot of the problems with the current weave of mankind, which is we're separated by distance, by cost, by the availability of transport, et cetera.